produce to prepared meals and brewed coffee. A new grocery store is serving up solutions in Walnut Hills. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons shows us how ETC Produce looks to take Walnut Hills from food desert to food destination. Welcome to ETC Produce. Located on East McMillan Street in Walnut Hills, it's new, it's green, it's a solution years in the making. This has been a food desert for quite a bit of time after Kroger left. Absolutely. So this community hasn't had local access to a grocery store. So you are providing that solution here. We are trying to give the community everything they want and desire. I spoke with co-owner Tonsia Chavez Thursday. Though her Halloween mustache wasn't real, she told me this small business endeavor is as natural as it gets. Really, ETC is about connecting uh, communities for food. Vegetables, sauces, meats, even prepared meals. Farm to table, most of these shelves are stocked with locally sourced goods. Kentucky, Indiana, Cleveland, lots, I mean, probably 50 items from Cincinnati. But local can also mean pricey, and the owners know that. You see, the annual median income here in Walnut Hills is around $50,000. So there are some more affordable options in case some items are a little too far out of reach. Tomato sauce, we have a high of a $11.99 local from Cleveland, or we have a um, $3.99 traditional meat ragu available as well. Looking forward, what are you um, hoping for ETC and just for the impact in the community? Um, we have done a lot for Finley Market and the feel of Finley Market and being able to be a part of that community and grow with the community. So I'm really excited to see where we're going to go. What's our trajectory going to be? Chavez hopes it's up because as this community grows, she's got the door open, eager to offer up a fresh oasis in a place that's long starved to see one in Walnut Hills. Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.